Hi everyone and welcome to Pro Tools Answers where three Pro Tools experts discuss, demonstrate and elaborate on your Pro Tools questions put to the community in Avid's official Facebook support forum. And as Andy and myself Dave take you deep into the workings of Pro Tools technique and ethos to help the user community understand and get the best out of their investment and we hope there are tutorials, our discussions and our channels are helping you guys do just that. In this week's show we're going to be looking at a question from Daryl who asks... Can anyone tell me if anywhere exists a definitive guide or tutorial on the various ways to upgrade a Pro Tools rig from one Mac to a newer Mac? Best methods, warnings, recommendations, etc. I plan to make the jump from a Mac Pro 6.1 to a new Mac Studio. Uh, my ultimate goal, if at all possible, is to do it with the system drive, disk images, backups, and restoring that to the new Mac, and then upgrading the OS because I would really like to avoid reinstalling everything from, from scratch if I can. Uh, would really appreciate any links to pages, blogs, user groups, or YouTube videos that can deal with this issue. Thanks. Hey, we're a YouTube video. Well, we've got him covered. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think Anders wants to kick off with this one. Yeah. First off, there is always a definitive guide when it comes to stuff in Pro Tools. Like, uh, there is always a workflow for everything. Uh, it seems in buried deep in various courses, and the ones that you're talking about are actually in the 400 ACSR, which is the Avid Certified Support Representative course where they cover these topics. Uh, but uh, the one that I would like to mention is the Carby Copy Cloner, which basically clones your hard drive. And this is a great asset if you want to clone your hard drive and install on the exact same system or, uh, or uh, a system that is has the exact same specifications. So you can basically use the same drivers and everything. And this is really useful if you're doing uh, like a computer lab or a music production lab or something in a school where all of the computers are exactly the same and you basically have one cloned copy of one system at which you can install on every other system and it just works. That's certainly one option. Is, is it going to guarantee that everything is going to work though? Uh, yeah. And I think the this is the big question. If if the systems are exactly the same, using the same hardware and everything, mm. it will work. Uh, no, carbon, uh, carbon copy cloner, and there's a couple others that are out there, are great for what Anders just said. So if you've got a you've got the IT guy at a school and he gets one system perfect, right? Mm. Everything mm. you need, nothing you don't, everything's updated, it's known to work. Then let's take that and exactly put that on other machines. That's car that's what it's for, frankly. Um, but and Dave, I think this is where you're going to go, is for this guy who's going to be going to a different computer and then updating his OS, mm -hmm. is it is it exactly going to help him? That's the question. Yeah. Probably not. So the other one is for a Mac, it's very obvious. It's Time Machine. Um, Time Machine does a really great job at, uh, at backing up regularly. Um, it, if you if you've partitioned your hard drive into multiple partitions, it takes copies of those partitions as well. Um, but it kind of does what Carbon Copy Cloner does. It takes an exact copy of your hard drive at various increments um, and then allows you to either migrate an entire system over to a new dr uh, a new computer, or you could just migrate specific folders. Um, over drag specific folders over and specific files over um, if you wanted to. Um, and, and another option is to manually copy stuff over. You know, things like plugin folder, potentially. Um, Workspaces. Pl plugin settings. Indexes. Yeah. You know, it's a, a, the Carbon Copy Cloner and Time Machine is all about ideally trying to do it automatically, but there's you can do it manually as well if there are specific folders that you you definitely want to maintain without copying all of all of that other stuff over um you know identifying specific folders to copy can obviously be another option um but certainly what i find when i'm trying to migrate over to a new one and, and both you and me andy we ended up with uh, the new m1 pros uh, this and last year didn't we um and i tried to do the same thing as what Daryl is doing, trying to copy as much stuff as I could over without having to do all of the reinstalling things. But I just inevitably find that uh, where software and apps want to link into the specific 
guts of the computer for the obviously for the purposes of making sure that you own it and make sure you're not sharing stuff to, to lots of other people um it's it's not enough i don't think anything is going to be a one-shot solution something is going to need to be authorized um possibly through an installer possibly through an app um, authorizer um so we may be able to get the physical files over and i think maybe a majority of them will work will all of them work though that's that's always the big question for me so what's the third option andy yeah so 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 there's first of all uh carbon copy cloner is great for what it's designed to do archiving but also migration hmm. um time machine is is basically an archiving you know emergency recovery kind of thing right that's that's what its primary function mm -hmm. is and, and mm -hmm. there's there's nothing wrong with that everybody should be doing something to keep their system from you know fault tolerant right um and then obviously when you get a new computer then the the extension of that time machine concept is is their migration assistant mm. which basically mm. you connect the two machines together you know answer a couple of questions and then have lunch and then when you come back it's it's pretty much done great it's it's fantastic right for most people but we're not really in that demographic we're not most people are we andy well, we're are not we, most people in this industry and uh, you know i i've been you know up until the computer just before this one i had been you know basically you know migrating from one computer to another and it just it, all of a sudden i noticed over over time that my computer was just getting really logy and started doing some research and found in in drives and in, in in my library there was drivers for hardware I hadn't had in years. And come to find out, all of those things, everything that your system doesn't need is not necessarily benign. Um, and, and drivers for, for hardware you don't have, it's, it's still on there trying to do its thing. Mm. Um, and so at, at some point, it was the best thing I ever did, was just to ba basically say, screw it, I'm going to just I, I'm going to back up, you know, certain things and, you know, like my plugins folder and all that stuff mm -hmm. um, into onto a, another drive. But as far as rebuilding this, I'm not migrating anything. I'm going to just mm -hmm. basically rebuild it. And I'll, I'll tell you what, it's it's working great. And the amount of time I would have saved trying to fix what didn't work, <laughs> I, 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 I'm sure that I have saved time in the bargain. Now, mm -hmm. here's the other thing is that um, and this is where you have to be careful of your plugins folder. Everybody mm. wants, because uh, installing plugins is such a time suck. Mm. Um, everybody mm. wants to take your plugins folder, put it somewhere, and then bring it back and put it in there. Well, you just said too, I'm gonna up update my operating system. And here's where I, I see this on, on the, uh, the Facebook groups almost daily is, is you know, I, I, can't, I, I could open my session a week ago, but I can't open it now. And it's almost always up to, something that has been updated in terms of an operating system or a version of Pro Tools, mm. but there's an mm. incompatible plugin in the folder. And it's not incompatible to the point where you get an error message. It's incompatible to the point where it's leaking, right? So there's a CPU mm. processor, what we call a leak, and all of a sudden it's using way more CPU power because it's not made for the operating system that it's sitting in. So when you're, when you're upgrading your operating system, I'm not saying don't copy and paste your your plugins folder but be careful and, and go through your plugin list mm -hmm. and check mm -hmm. to make sure mm -hmm. that you're using the right versions because that's without a doubt it's the number one thing that people run into yes. when yeah. they make upgrades not so much to pro tools but to operating systems that's where where those technical leaks and technical problems uh tend to rear their ugly heads do you, do you think do you think i could disagree with andy without getting a hundred hand slap Nope, nope, in, nope. in that regard, because the, what I found with the copying of the plugin folder, it's not that straightforward because the plugins will also have other folders connected to them. So uh, they'll, they'll maybe have samples that they need to reconnect to. Mm. Um, they have uh, other saved assets. It's not just a case of saving them in the Pro Tools folder. They'll have their own folder with their own presets in, and that will end up breaking as well. And as you, I think what you said is, is perfect. You can spend just as much time fixing stuff and reconnecting things as you can just installing them all from scratch. 
way you know, more I know, time. I, I, I've never tried to copy my plugins folder, and I was like, hmm, that's pretty clever. And now th when you tell it this way, yeah, uh, it really no. isn't. <laughs> uh, I've always been been installing from scratch. Mm. I use Time Machine as my backup service, and it's uh, like backing up my system every now and then. Uh, but if I get a new computer, I start mm. from scratch. It's such, Do you know why I, cop I copy my plugins folder to another drive? Not to drag it back in, but so that I have a list of all yeah. the plugins yeah. that I have to reinstall. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. 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 yeah, good call. Um, I was about to say something and it's gone. <coughs> Sorry about that, Dave. I hijacked. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I think re re just wiping your computer and reinstalling it every uh, periodically it, it's such a quality of life upgrade because as, as you said you know the, the old things just just build up in there that can end up slowing it down um, yeah. <coughs> and if you're taking a copy of, of a compromised system and moving it over to a new system the new system is going to be just as compromised as the old one so <coughs> just starting from script from from afresh it's it means you've got a fresh computer as well as a uh, fresh everything else. Uh, Dave, let me pour you a glass of water here. So. Thank, you Thank you very much. <laughs> you, you know, uh, I, I bought my daughter, Sachiko. Uh, <coughs> she, she asked for a new computer, and so we shopped around. And, and um, in, in a desperate bid to buy her affections, I, she's, she now also <coughs> has an M1 MacBook Pro, right? I want one too, Andy. <laughs> not too bad. Uh, I'm not buying your affections. Um, <laughs> He's going to have to sell a Tesla then. And, and I, you know, we were talking about migraine. She goes, no problem. I'll just move all the files onto another drive and then copy them over. And I've never been so proud of that young lady. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> um, I think, I don't know what it's like for you guys if you reinstall a fresh system. I have to schedule a few days <laughs> to make it happen. It's totally a, a two-day uh, work. Yeah. It is. The yes. first day you're you're rolling smoothly through, and the second day you start discovering all the things that you forgot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, but you know yeah, what? You I mean, always wind up refining your organization. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you know, totally, I, I, totally. I I I always upgrade my game whenever mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. to rebuild a system. Yeah, and it's amazing how much stuff is in there that you just don't use anymore or need. So if it if it's in a backup drive, awesome. Then when you need it, you can go and find it. But the likelihood is that you'll end up saving yourself a whole load of space um, that will be used for something more current and more relevant. You know, so uh, Daryl, I hope that helps. Um, obviously, just our opinions. If anyone else has got any uh, solutions that absolutely work without fail, then uh, please feel free. Head over to our, our Facebook page. Uh, group Pro Tools Answers um, and you can add a comment onto our video over there maybe uh, you know something we can add on to the discussion at a later date um, all, all this means to say is I uh, hope you've enjoyed this episode I hope it helped uh, just get a little bit more understanding on what uh, what you might want or need to do in this specific situation um, if you can hit like on our video that would help us greatly and um, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, that helps us imaginably as well you can hit the bell icon that will notify you every time we upload new videos and if you head over to protoolsanswers.com you can uh, you can subscribe over there and he will send you a nice email every week to let you know what's going on and you can also join our inner circle if you fancy taking that next step and supporting our work at Pro Tools Answers. You can find out about uh, the, uh, the the benefits of being part of our, uh, our inner circle over there. Um, as always thank you to Anders. Thank you. And thank you to Andy. You bet. And my name's Dave. This is Pro Tools Answers. We'll see you next time. <laughs>